What's going on guys? Today I'm really excited to show you something that we put on our 2014 Toyota Tundra. If you haven't seen some of my previous videos, you might not know that much about this truck, but this is a it has a TRD supercharger on it and previously it had the TRD exhaust on it, but we recently made an upgrade to a valved exhaust muffler. So what this muffler is is when we have the valves closed, the truck is very quiet because we were getting kind of tired of it having a little bit of road drone while we were driving and then when the valve is open it's essentially a straight piped exhaust we still have the cats on um, because we wanted to try and remain emission compliant but it's a straight piped exhaust aside from that so I'm going to show you guys um, underneath the truck and the exhaust system the exhaust system is made by Valvetronic Designs it's one of my really good friends um, he started the company specifically more for performance cars. It does a lot of stuff with BMWs, but we decided to try and adapt it to this exhaust kit because our exhaust pipe is two and a half inches in diameter. And he has a two and a half and three inch valved sort of install kit if you don't want to buy a full exhaust system. And this is the first truck that he's done. And I know he was super excited about it and we are super excited about it as well. Um, so what you get is you have a controller it looks like an Aventador style it's a cool controller and you have an open and close function on it essentially and that goes to the vacuum box I pulled the vacuum box out just so that you guys could see it here's the vacuum box so right now I'm going to that's closed the valves now closed you heard the air sort of hiss out um, the way this works is he used to use electronic valves and he switched to valve to vacuum valves because he was having issues with the the electronic ones and has no issues now he says with the valve with the vacuum system so now I'm gonna open the valves you can hear it pumping and then it's as long as you have theoretically no holes in your system you're not gonna hear this run again he said maybe every like once in a while you'll hear it run for like two seconds but we typically don't even hear it inside the car because I have it tucked way under the back seat of the Tundra and what I did was I have Velcro on the bottom so it just sticks to the carpet really nicely and it doesn't slide around. So then there's a vacuum tube that runs out and down to the exhaust and there's a power cord from this box. You could hardwire it if you wanted to. What I elected to do was I just snaked the power cord underneath the trim under the passenger seat and plugged it into the cigarette outlet in the glove box to make it easy because we were never using that one anyways. So now I'm gonna crawl underneath the truck and actually show you guys what these exhaust mufflers look like. They are really sharp. They come polished. It's 304 stainless steel. So what we did was we just cut out the old um, old mufflers and weld these in. So I'm gonna hopefully try not to make too much noise and bang this mic into stuff. If you can see that there, those are the actual valves. So right now I'm gonna open the system again, or close the system technically, sorry. Right now it's closed, so the exhaust is gonna go through the muffler and the truck will be quiet. And then they default normally closed. So right now there's no vacuum pressure in the line essentially. And then I'm gonna click the button one more time and you'll see they're gonna go up. So like I said, we are super excited about this and I want to jump right into some exhaust clips. Now, some of the clips that I'm gonna show you aren't gonna do this justice with the exhaust being quote unquote quiet because I'm still going to be stepping on it but the biggest difference I would say is when you're driving around inside the truck so I'm also going to include clips of that with the windows down and the windows up you don't get that road drone anymore or that sort of like grumble or growl if you want to call it that when you're driving highway speeds that you would hear previously with the TRZ exhaust that we had so I'd say that's the biggest benefit as well as now it's straight piped so it sounds absolutely amazing so I'm gonna jump right into those clips and I hope you guys enjoy this. Like I said, I'm super excited to share this with you. Um, we absolutely love it. We've had it on now for probably a month um, and let's get into it. All right, so right now we have the valve in the closed position and we're just at idle. I let the truck warm up so that it's not really idling high anymore. Um, it's making this weird sort of puff sound that you might be able to hear, hopefully. Um, I wouldn't say it's a good sounding sound, but the goal with the valves closed is by no means to make the truck sound good. It was to make it quiet while driving around normally. 
and I'm going to drive the truck around with the camera inside the truck so you guys can hopefully get it here for that sort of, there's no more rumble anymore. So even though it doesn't sound great out here, that wasn't the point of putting this on. Now I'm going to open the valve and you can sort of hopefully hear it starting to have that sort of rumble. Um, I'm going to put the valve back into the closed position right now and then give it a rev and I'm going to do the same thing with the valve open and give it a rev. Not necessarily an accurate comparison because it's still going to sound kind of loud with the valve closed, um, but like I said, the truth is really when you're driving around with the valve closed, you don't get that drone or rumble, whatever you want to call it, the rumble, which is what we wanted it for. So as you can hear, that's a pretty dramatic difference. I hope that the camera does it justice. I do have an external mic, so hopefully it's good. I'm gonna take the external mic off now and strap the GoPro to a suction cup, and we're gonna go drive around. Um, and what I'll do is I will just put a description in the video saying what's going on with the sound. Alright, so right now I'm going to drive around with the windows open, and this is going to be with the valve closed, so the truck is going to be quiet. Um, like I said earlier, it sort of is more about when the windows are up that the truck is quiet, but this is just going to be normal acceleration and driving, and you won't hear any sort of that drone. Um, you're just going to hear mostly, I'd assume, wind, wind noise, to be honest. Um, and then... I'll just do a rolling, rolling uh, sort of like hardish acceleration. You still don't hear that much. I mean, it was, like I said, if the windows were up, this wouldn't make a difference. So right now, what I am going to do is I'm actually going to roll the windows up, so you can hear. There's no noise, but. actual noise of if you have the radio going or whatever in here you're not going to hear that rumble while we're driving which was the key part of installing this for us all 
Alright, so I just opened the valve and I'm just gonna do a gentle acceleration. But even now you're gonna really hear. That's barely stepping on it at all. Then we can do a somewhat aggressive rolling acceleration. stop and really stepping on it.